A recent survey commissioned by Porch.com gets to the heart of some truly important questions. Does pineapple belong on a pizza? Is a hot dog ice sandwich? Are the edges or the middle pieces the best part of a brownie? It's flighty and fun data as entertainment. But then, and perhaps without even meaning to, the survey has something serious to say. Respondents were asked what they care about more a food or politics? Food or climate change? The results are a little ominous. About 46% of people said they cared more strongly about food than politics. Slightly more than half of all female respondents said they cared more about food, 40. 2% of men said the same. About 37% of all people had stronger feelings about food than about climate change. Loud music at restaurants could be leading you to order burgers over salads, study says granted, this is not an extremely scientific survey. Although there were more than 1,000 respondents, they were surveyed online via Amazon's Mechanical Turk, so they're self-selecting, and more than half of the participants were millennials. But what does it mean that nearly half of these mostly millennial respondents, despite increasing millennial engagement in politics, still care more about food? It means it shouldn't be an either-or question, food is politics. Every aspect of our food chain touches on a political issue. Immigrants, some of whom are undocumented, farm land and process meat, and deliver food to stores and work in restaurants. The restaurant industry is one of the fastest growing workforces in the country and is deeply affected by changes pertaining to health care, union organizing and the minimum wage. Approximately 40 million low-income Americans get food assistance from the government each month. The government regulates the safety of our food and the water we use to grow or produce it. Climate change will affect the quality and quantity of food produced worldwide. And many of the products we consume, coffee, fresh fruits and vegetables, and wine, for example, come to us via foreign trade. Laws and regulations that affect farmers, truck drivers, small business owners, importers, and immigrants can in turn affect the price and quantity of our food. Anyway, back to the fun stuff. More baby boomers than millennials call a hot dog a sandwich. 4.1% of people pour the milk before the cereal. Those people are monsters. We're almost equally divided on our preference for pancakes versus waffles and edge versus middle brownies. 71.6% of people think it's acceptable to put pineapple on pizza. Those people are also monsters. 20.1% of people answered yes, technically when asked whether an uncrustable, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with a crust cut off and the middle crimped in, is a ravioli, not including the 40% of people who had never heard of an uncrustable. Almost 30% of people do not peel their string cheese and just bite it, more monsters. Oh, and voter turnout hovered around 50% among millennials, more than 2012, but lower than any other generational group, in the 2016 presidential election. But that one wasn't from the survey. More from Voraciously, Grandma's Food, How Changing Tastes Are Killing German Restaurants Sparkly Pizza, Bagels and Gravy, Nothing Is Safe From Edible Glitters Reach Pink Starbursts and Brownie Edges, How Our Quirky Preferences Are Driving the Future of Snacking. <laughs>